If you're looking for a way to get a good swim in Lake Mendota and do it for a good cause, you're going to want to stick around because we're joined now by Darren Fortney from Gills for Gilda. How are you, Darren? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Now, Gills for Gilda is a fundraiser for Gilda's Club Madison, and I know that you're kind of the, the founder of this. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, that's right. Uh, so I founded the event uh, 15 uh, years ago. Uh, I'm local resident of Middleton. I've uh, been there for about 17 years. I uh, have a couple kids, a couple dogs, a couple cats. Uh, urban planner. I work for an engineering architectural firm. But um, athletically speaking, I, I was not really an athlete growing up. But uh, in 2005, I kind of made a shift in my life. And since then, I've done a lot of quite a few ultra events ranging from 10 mile swims to 135 mile running races. So. Wow. wow, that's incredible. So the uh, Gildas or Gills for Gilda is uh, known as an ultra swim. Tell us exactly what that is. Yeah, so an ultra swim, uh, we defined uh, this particular swim is just under six miles. Um, and it stretches from the north side up by Northport, uh, up by Mariners in the restaurant. And then we swim across the lake all the way to uh, the Memorial Union. Well, wow, that's a that's a long swim. I don't know if I could make it six feet out of that uh, <laughs> through that. But um, I know that you are a big supporter of Gilda's Club Madison, and obviously, Gills for Gilda goes to support the proceeds go to support Gilda's Club Madison. What exactly is Gilda's Club Madison for those of our viewers who don't know, and and what made you decide to jump in and, and support them? Yeah, yeah. So I've been involved with Gilda's Club since uh, two thousand and eight. Um, they are a cancer support, support organization with different chapters around the, uh, around the country. Uh, but really what they focus in on is the social and emotional support of people facing cancer. I think, you know, medically we've gotten pretty good in our society about treating cancer. Um, but often it's the social and emotional uh, aspects that kind of lag behind and are left untreated. So that is the focus uh, of Gilda's Club. So they have lots of different counseling. Um, activities, fitness ideas, activities, uh, social events to get people kind of out and sharing their experiences so they don't feel like they are kind of going through this um, on, on their own. So it's, but it's a great organization. I was on the board of directors for about six years and um, I've just continued to uh, raise money for them through this um, 15th annual Guilds for Gilda. So tell us a little bit about how the, the swim across Lake Mendota actually works. Like what's What's happening beforehand, during, and afterwards? So it's um, this is a little different. So people that swim or can swim six miles are typically pretty pretty competitive people, as you would as you would guess, right? Ironman types, or uh, college or collegiate swimmers, or high school swimmers. This is a little bit different event, and we have to be really clear because um, normally we have about six to let's say fourteen swimmers. That this is actually a group swim, so I need to screen them to make sure that everybody is kind of in the same pace and page with how far the swim is and I have to stress the fact that this is not a it's, it's not a race we, we stay together every swimmer has their own kayak and we will swim for about 30 minutes until we regroup uh, and then we kind of just march along sometimes we call it a floating uh, a, a swim party across the lake and then we always have it uh, a pontoon off in the distance just to um, you know if lightning or somebody were to have an incident so that you know we are protected out there, but it's 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 a group swim, and it's really nice to um, take kind of take a step back sometimes from all these um, you know competitive events many of us are involved in. And uh, we just missed this year's event; it was uh, not too long ago. But if viewers are watching right now and they want to get involved in next year's event, how do they do that? Yep. So uh, they can contact me, or they can contact Gilda's Club, and we can certainly uh, go through the process. There's like a, an application process to make sure that people have the sufficient background to do that. Um, but yeah, with that said, yeah, the event was last Friday. We we crossed in the record three hours and 52 minutes, which was an all-time fast record. We asterisk we did have a north wind that pushed us along, which was nice, and we raised uh, over nine thousand dollars. Fantastic, $9,000. And if people want to donate to support Gills for, uh, Gills for Gilda or Gilda's Club Madison in general, how can they do that? Yep, and so there should be a link uh, that hopefully you, you can post, but it's uh, gildasclubmadison.com slash gills, G-I-L-L-S, and that will take you to our, our donation site. It's still up, up and live. 
and you get to see a few photos of uh, some of the past events and, and things like that, people in their wetsuits and whatnot, so it's a lot of fun. Well, uh, Darren Fortney, thank you so much for taking time out of your day and sharing this wonderful fundraiser that you've been going for 15 years. Congratulations on that. But we really appreciate all that you're doing for Gilda's Club and for those uh, people who are cancer survivors out there. We thank you. Thank you, Justin. Don't go away. There's more after the break. Stick around.